Yeah, that's a great song right there. And uh, we wanted to uh, let you know that we have a special guest in the studio. He's a VIP guest. He's been on the program and uh, about how many times you've been on the program? Oh, at least uh, I would say six or seven times. Six or seven. So yeah, mostly from calling in. Calling in. Uh, he's based. We're going to let our, our listeners guess who it is. Okay. He He's based out of the Los Angeles, California area, reared in Fairfield, Connecticut. Right. And uh, he actually has 13 children as we uh, speak right now. Is, is That was the last count. That was the last count, yeah. The Minnesota's results have not come in. Okay. Yeah. So you spent some time up there Correct. doing that Bob Dylan uh, tribute tour? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, all over that one. All over that one. And uh, he has some great songs, which uh, we've been playing here on the Upper Room. And uh, he's finally here with his guitar and his voice, and his name is Patch Cummings. And, and you know, after Patch... We're going to give our listeners the phone number right now in case you want to call in and say hi to you. Okay. And we'll, we'll pipe them in and uh, ask questions. But first, I uh, want to ask, Patch, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm on vacation. I'm back here visiting all my friends, having a blast and, you know, getting real polluted. And, and uh, what else have you been doing? Well, a lot of guitar playing. Uh, Johnny Diamonds is supposed to be here, but he appears to be sleeping. Johnny Diamonds. Yeah. Also grew up in fairfield also grew up but he went to this university oh okay that's yeah, right he's a graduate and uh so uh he's with the not ready oh we got a phone call wow you, you ready for a phone call sure all right we're gonna uh hatch in our first co- phone call for patch cummings hello this is wvof you're on the air yes i would like to say hello to patch cummings well I, this sounds like the french connection <laughs> i'm a good friend of patch cummings is is this one of the uh, mothers of your, your children? Oh no, no, she's a sweetheart though. <laughs> I love this. Is G? I can tell. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Do you want to hear anything special? Yeah, uh, I don't know the title. You talk about train on that song. Oh, okay. That was the one I was going to play. Most of mine are about train wrecks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. We'll uh, give the phone number to our. Listeners right now, it's 203-254-4111, and Patch is ready to rock and roll. He's got his guitar here. He's going to sing, and uh, welcome to the Upper Room with Joe Kelly Concert Series. Patch, call me. All righty. Thanks a lot, Joey. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, nice to have you here performing live and uh, headed down the line. Uh, uh, yeah, traveling down the line. Traveling down the line. Traveling down the line, yeah. I wrote that a couple of years ago. Yeah, well, where do you get the inspiration for a song like that? I know you, you say a lot of your songs about train wrecks. Yeah. Like that. Well, where where does it all stem from? Well, I could have wrote one last week where there was a big wreck in California. Big freight train went whipping through the neighborhoods, unmanned and wrecked through houses and stuff. Happens every time. I had a good inspiration just watching the news. So you, you so you're looking for for uh, fodder for your music and uh, the lyrics and what do you what do you go with? Uh, kind of a melody first on the guitar you you writing down lyrics first and trying to add it's strange it, it, a lot of times i do just have the, the the melody going on you know uh other times it's i'll have a phrase or something and i'll just write off one phrase mm-hmm. and uh i don't know you just i go through stretches i mean i, I won't write something for four months the next thing i'll know i'll write six songs so so that's how you do it yeah and uh you know we we have been playing about three or four of your new ones. Actually, I think three I have on CD. Okay, yeah, that was I recorded I believe last time with Rico for Rico. Yeah, yeah, he's got his uh, own little home studio. It's really nice over there in Black Rock. And uh, oh, Rico's back in this area. Oh, he's always been here. Oh, okay. You, you might be thinking someone else. <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I thought Rico moved out of the area, but no, no, no. He's oh, oh, oh. You're right. He was in Stratford. Yeah, there. Yeah, the okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking area, meaning out of the country. Right. Yeah. So uh, you brought a guitar right here. You said a Guild. Yeah. This is I, I borrowed this from uh, Chris Cass. Chris Cass, of yeah. course, your good friend yeah. and uh, leader of the Triple Threat Blues Band. Right. Played the Brew House uh, in Norwalk a little while ago. Did you get? I, I wasn't able to go down, but. You know that band's great. They've been here on the concert series. Yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. 
But I think they're on their little summer hiatus for a bit, but they'll be back real soon. How how about the guitar? You have uh, I'm, I'm not a guitar player. Yeah. So I, so what's that piece of? Yeah, I'm, it's just a capo. I capo up just to change the keys. Where so I can always play in the C or G formation, but it'll just change the keys. So oh okay. yeah, that's the most technical explanation I can give you. I'm yeah. sure we can get someone to call in and really give you some. From home. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we should open our phone lines right now. We heard from Sister G.I. who called in. And the phone line here is 203-254-4111, 203-254-4111. Patch Cummings is here. He's uh, taking uh, questions from the audience and uh, discussing his forthcoming recording. Yeah, it's uh, always been. Any release, any release dates for it? or No. No. no, I I'm, I'm think that I'm going to get more into just trying to get other people to record. We have another phone call. Uh-oh. So Patch Cummings. Okay, let's hear it. Hello, this is WVOF. Patch Cummings yeah. is here. Yeah, that when I talk to Pat. Patch is here. Hello. Yeah, my Pat. Yes, who is this? Hi, Pat. This is a friend of yours. Oh, I know who this is. Are you on your way? Are you on your way over? Over where? Where do you think I am? Yeah, I need to get the tape in. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, come on down. Can I come over? Sure. Uh, you know who this is? You've had him in here. That's right, Danny Labor. Yeah. yeah. What do you want? What do you want to hear, Danny? Uh, I I nearly missed the bus. I'm on my own, but <laughs> All right, I'll play. Uh, how you doing, Dan? I'm not feeling all right. How 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 did uh, how how did the gig at the brew house go? I missed that one. That was good. Uh huh. Time there, it's a nice place. Great nice venue to go down and play. Good people there. Right. And now they take care of you there. Yeah, we had a good time. Hey, you got to play at the Sono Caffeine in South Norwalk. That'd be cool for you. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you at, Danny? Are you. I'm on the road. You're coming home about by uh, by my house. You, how long are you gonna be there for? Well, Joe's got another uh, another uh, uh, interview at uh, six thirty, so uh, that's probably when I'll cut off. Yeah. All right, all right but I, I, you want to? What are you doing tonight? You gonna be around? Yeah, I'll be around. You'll be over at that cafe. Yeah. Give me a ring. I can't do that. All right, Dan. Hey, 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 great to hear from right, you. Th- this one's for you, Danny, lead singer of the Triple Threat Blues Band, Dan Labick out of Fairfield, Connecticut. So thanks, Dan. You got it. Thank all right. You. See you later. So nice to hear from your friends and Dan is a great guy. Yeah, the loose feel to the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> making making dinner plans. That's right. Over over <laughs> the line. We we don't edit out here yeah. unless. Uh, so so you want to get another track? Yeah, I'll do another one. All right. Uh, what do you got? Uh, this is an older one. This is this was written back in ninety one. Call a stomper from Mister Patch Cummings. Yeah, that's and, a keeper. Yeah, and you you spent some time in in New Orleans, right? Oh, I had a great trip to New Orleans once. Yeah, T- had... tell us about New Orleans. I don't really remember much about it. No, uh, no, I, I, that's not true. Uh, the, great music down there, great food, uh, and then everyone's really friendly. I mean, right. you cannot get run into a mean. Per- well, no, that's you can run into some pretty mean drunks, but you yeah. know, it's a but, great place. Have you so, gone? I've never been there. Yeah, you should head down. Yeah, You'd like really to go like to it. the the jazz festival down there. Should you know that would be real nice, right? But, yeah, right. So uh, we have Patch Cummings in the studio right now. He's here at WBOF and. Uh, we are going to uh, once again give us the the phone number here two zero three two five four four one 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 two zero three two five four forty one eleven. Patch Cummings here until six thirty. Then right, I'll be here this week. He's on an Eastern tour. He's based out of Los Angeles. And uh, what, what's it like the L.A. life for you? What adaptation to it? And, I don't, I don't want to insult anyone from L.A. I think if you're from California, you really love it out there. Everyone who's born there loves it. Uh-huh. If you're from somewhere else like the East Coast, it's like going to Mars. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, though. Right. I mean, you know, when the sun's there for 360 days a year. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it's not as muggy as this. Wow, this is like uh, Florida out here. Yeah, so so we have a little background music. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's Kid Ginseng, by the way. Cool. Craft Jerks. Nice. Just giving a little background here. Life, Death, the Release. Nice. And, uh, you know, so you spoke on it being so much different. Do you, have you noticed it changes your songwriting and approach to music being out there? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where it all comes from. Uh, I think to write songs, you have to really, uh, you have to feel. And, and that could be bad feelings, good feelings, but that's what it really comes down to. And it's all about ideas and feelings. So that could happen really anywhere. Uh, it's all in the head, man. It's all in the head. It all's in the head. And, uh, you mentioned some of your, your friends, Dan Labick, uh, he's the lead singer. Yeah. I've known Dan. Triple for Thread. And, yeah. Uh, he's got his own projects. Right. Songwriting. I know you're raving about that. Yeah. He's really talented. It's, it seems like your musical friends, you guys vibe off each other. Yeah, it's an interesting th- uh, thing when we all get around. We just pass the guitar around. One, you know, come, I do a song. Danny does a song. Chris does a song. Rico does a song. Right. And you know, it's not like we're competing with each other, but we all we all want to uh, put out the best possible product that right, we can. Right. And everyone is spectacular in their own way. Uh, and I think that's where I I grew from just being around those guys. So uh, once again, Patch Cummings here, and uh, he wants to hear from his friends and uh admirers who have supported him throughout the years especially uh on the the tours here on the east coast uh so we'll give you the phone lines here to wbof it's 203-254-411-112-03-254-4111 hey you want to uh give a prize away for for any of our listeners from patch coming sure sure what are we giving away i don't know how about this guitar Hey, why not? Yeah. We'll give it away. Yeah. I'm sure Chris will be calling in real quick. <laughs> so you say you're going to give away a Guild guitar? Guild guitar. We just have to find one. Yes. Uh, what What would be the uh, the uh, giveaway value question? Oh, the giveaway question. Uh, uh, you got to make it tough because we got a sharp audience out here. Okay. Uh, uh, what's uh, Bob Dylan's original name? No, nah, that's too easy. No one will get it there. Come no on. way. No. Come on. Come okay. on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what's uh, Prince's original name? How about Prince's middle name? Okay. and Middle name and last name. Middle name and last and name. Bob Dylan's original name. Right. You got to get two questions, and uh, Patch Cummings is going to give away what? <laughs> I'm not giving away anything. Hey, come on, you're backpedaling <laughs> there. He'll give away uh, a free copy of his uh, songs right now. That's right. That's right. Anyone who wants this is going to have it. Patch Cummings selection. Uh, give us a call. You have to answer two questions. The first being Bob Dylan's original name and uh, Prince, the musician Prince, his middle name and last name. So uh, 254-4111, a CD of Patch Cummings. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Cass was all sweating there. <laughs> Just for a minute. I think I got his car outside. Right. <laughs> so uh, you want to get another one? Yeah, I'll do one more. All right. You, I know that you got another guest coming up, so I'll, I'll quick. Oh, we, we're not going to kick you out. All righty. Yeah, that's called Stormy Days? Uh, yes, that would be called Stormy Days. Thank you. And that's uh, from Patch Cummings. Yeah. He, uh, he uh, is in on his... Uh, how many Northeast tours for, for you have this been? Yeah, uh, you know, we're just not getting the listenership that we really expect when we go out, so we have to keep doing it. And uh, you think you'll tour to your last breath? Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. No doubt? Yeah, no doubt. It might be tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Think positive. <laughs> so, so uh, listen, uh, it's WVOF 88.5, 11 minutes after 6 o'clock. And uh, if you listened before, uh, you heard Patch Cummings is giving away CDs to his uh, collection of songs. Yes. And... Uh, He's got to make it tough. There's a double-sided question. So uh, first jot the phone lines down. It's 203-254-4111, 203-254-4111. And the two questions are, uh, what is Bob Dylan's real name? Right. And uh, what is Prince, the musician's real name, full name? And uh, you get that. You get a free CD of Patch Cummings, and uh, he uh, might... Go to their house and perform? Yes, that's right. With pizzas. With pe- oh, come on. You're up in the ante there. Yeah. No? Yeah. No, I'm not coming over anywhere. No? No. No, there's no. Just time. the CD? Yeah. I don't even, I can't even promise that. In fact, don't call. No, come on. Come on. <laughs> you promised. All right. So it's uh, 254-4111 for Patch Cummings. Right. And uh, also, uh, oh, we've got, uh, you know what? What's that? 
Somebody instant message us. <laughs> really? Spinacopita instant message us and say, can I participate? The names are Robert Allen Zimmerman for Bob Dylan and Prince is Prince Rogers Nelson. Wow. 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 Okay. So, yeah. So uh, give them your home number, Joe, and um, and you'll have all the CDs ready. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> well, yeah, we'll go. We'll, go, we'll take you as a winner. Thank you. And uh, Spinacopita, you could just uh, email uh, myself. You go to the upper room with joekelly.com and uh, hit us up on the email and uh, let us know that you won that prize. So that's great. Wow, well, I, can't, I can't believe we had that. someone listening. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the person's out there listening. and uh, <laughs> Or you're going to be stalking. <laughs> so where will you be uh, the rest of the uh, When are you uh, going back to L.A. or yeah, on for the, the 3rd? I'm go- I got to do some stuff uh, for the next couple of days, but I'll be going back on the 3rd. On the 3rd? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday night. Thursday night. Yeah. And, so, uh, I'm supposed to be seeing you tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're going up yeah. to uh, Southington. Who's up there, by the way? Oh, there's plenty of people we know. I think we're going to see Tim, Tim, Cheryl. Yeah, all the kids. Uh, Catherine, Jim. Right. And uh, Shannon, Aaron, Megan, and uh, don't forget Katie. Right. Also uh, Mike. Mike. Mimi. Mimi. G. G, right, yeah. We well, got pretty much, a, it's going to be a full house. Anybody else? I don't think so. Father Carr? Oh, yeah, maybe Joe Graz will stop in. I Joe Graz. He might, because right. he's going to be up in Hartford, so he might come. Oh, really, he's performing? No, no, he works up there, so he might be coming down that way. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll, we may have a big festival going on. It should be pretty good. It's always a party. Yeah, I was up there for the last party up there. Right, how'd that go? That was pretty good. It was a neighborhood party. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Mimi was working the crowd. She was dancing, doing her steps, and leading the line dances. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just saw her uh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, at breakfast. Oh, you know her too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Small world. Big producer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in fact, I liked her work with uh, Esther Williams. Esther Williams. That was a great CD. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a polka album? That was, uh, <laughs> it was a Cajun polka oh, album. Oh, Cajun polka. Yeah. yeah that, that. So, you know... You know, getting off the topic of of that, yeah, Wilco, yeah, is up at the Montreal Jazz Fest. Is that right? Rico I didn't saw them uh, last week. Oh, okay. At um, is it Wall- Wallingford or uh, yeah, Oakdale, Oakdale. Yeah, he said it was really nice. Yeah, I think tonight or last night uh, on a show with Nico K. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of it? No, I, no, no. They were with uh, another. Uh, was it? They had an opening band that had to cancel out of two sh- two of their shows for some reason. I oh, okay. That was, but yeah, Wilco's really great. Yeah, still getting a lot of great inspiration from that. I would think so. Yeah, right. Yeah, the them Dylan, uh, uh, that, they're just really good. Just really, uh, the way that uh, that that Tweety writes is is really wild. The way you can link words together, I think that's something to strive for. Have you have you met Tweety yet? No, no, no. Don't no, no I, desire to. Or? No, I, no. I, I mean, I'd love to meet him, but uh, no, I haven't met him. Rico has met him. So, do you play the guitar nearly every day? Uh, yeah, yeah, I pretty much. I mean, what I can't say that I sit down for three hours and I'm practicing, but you know, right. I'm usually sitting watching Sports Center playing. You know, I, how about uh, trips over to Asia? I know you, you have a cult following over there. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a cult. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Yeah, no, I haven't been over for a while, but maybe by Christmas or something like that. Do something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I was at? I was at the Bluefish game the other night. Oh, were you? Yeah, yeah. you guys broadcast those games. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This, By the way, good good promotion. There we go. Uh, huh? no, Patch Cummings huh? knows where to promote it. Right. Home of the Bluefish on, on the radio here, WVOF. Right. I'll tell you, that was a, just a fun time. If you uh-huh. want to go to just a nice ballpark, cheap, you know, or inexpensive I right. the term, but, you know, we had a blast. You know, everyone was there. Who'd they play? I think Summer the team, team? team from Long Island. Some, oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder if they came across on the ferry. That was a big question, whether they came across on the ferry. And didn't even bother showering. He just took the ferry back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. uniform. Just went right back. Yeah. 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 Some guys are good. Other guys don't hustle. But, you know. Oh, you could tell they're not hustling? Yeah. yeah. Some guys, they didn't want to even get their shirts dirty. And uh, we wanted to uh, send our best regards out to a real gamer, Billy the K. Yeah. Who uh, just came off uh, an injury, right? He's yeah. coaching about four teams out there. Yeah. Yeah. And he took a nasty spill, nice yeah. six foot fall onto the concrete. Oh, he was down. He got knocked out? Oh, he was out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He looked dead. 
So, so is he uh, getting better now? Yeah. So, you know, after uh, a couple, about well, we went and saw a mutual friend of ours, a, a physical therapist, who got him up within a week. Really? What happened? Uh, well, what did he do? Well, he whacked his head with the concussion. That's just right. You just have, that's rest, and you know, right. But uh, he jarred his ribs that right around, so he had a tremendous pain in his side and uh-huh. his back. And uh, the guy was able to do mid- manipulation and uh, a zone finding and all that to really work out the kinks. Wow. Yeah. So he was up in, in that. His name is Lynn Paul Taylor. Uh, that's at right. Biofeedback Center in Los Angeles on Wilshire Avenue. Feel free <laughs> to call him anytime. Get your right. Uh, Moving real good and smooth. Right. And uh, Lynn will appreciate me mentioning that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm comments. sure. Yeah. And, and we should mention Billy the K's uh, baseball school, the website. That's right. Uh, that's uh, BillKellyBaseball.com. Uh, if you're in the area in the uh, Chino, California area, please stop by anytime. We accept Visa and MasterCard. And how's the batting cage and, and how how the prospects out there? Uh, well, you know, the Titans, Cal State Fullerton, they made it to the World Series. That was pretty good. Uh-huh. Uh, but they lost. Do you see that? Kid got hit in the face with the ball. No, no. Yeah, right squared around the bunt and got hit right Ooh. in the face. Oh, that was nice. So how's he doing? I, his face was pretty distorted, but he, <laughs> he came back to the game. I mean, he didn't play, but he was there. Yeah, that was cool. So uh, we're going to, uh, once again, uh, take phone calls right now. Mm. Uh, for Patch Cummings, he's here for another 10 minutes or so on air. It's uh, 254-4111, And uh, you want to do another song or get right into uh, some some more chat? Well, I could do one more song. I'll, I can make a short one, you know, because I know we're, we're up against the clock a bit. Is that all right? Yeah. Can do one more? Right. All right. All right. Let me get a nice and short one. I've got a, actually a phone call coming in right now. Really? Let's take it. Let's see. What all right. This is WBOF. You're on the air. Hi, Sean. This is Steve. How are you doing? Is that Steve Tabor? I, I recognize that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Sean. Mr. on the radio. Great, great sound. Didn't even know you knew how to handle the six train. So what's been going on, buddy? <laughs> Please disconnect that call. I think I owe that guy money. Oh, seriously, Joel's over here. <laughs> Joel's digging it. Dancing with everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how's, how's, how's the family? <laughs> Just fine, Steve. Thanks for calling in. We really appreciate that. Steve, That that's great that you're listening. Keep on passing the word. And we're going to send this one out to you. This one's called? Uh, up his uh, parents here. On the Upper Room with Joe Kelly concert series here at WVOF. He's been down here before uh, many times and also uh, from the home studio. That's right. Uh, besides the WVOF Monday 4 to 8 show we do here, he uh, we also have a 24-hour broadcast at Upper Room with Joe Kelly. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. I really, oh. I think that what uh, you and G do is, is just uh, really nice with the independent artists. And that's, yeah, that's thanks. something that uh, that should be done. And uh, you guys should be proud of yourself. Yeah, thanks. You know, and, and we love the music and, and your music as well. Cool. And, uh, you know, that song right there, I know it goes back a little bit. Right? Yeah. That, yeah. Because yeah. I remember you had that. Yeah, I think three years. Ago. Yeah, I think that you had that on like a, a yeah. studio. Uh, like we did some. Uh, yeah, initial... actually, I gave you that CD. I never got it back. That's right. I remember that at the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, those were originally practice tracks. I think we're a little more polished now. You know, uh-huh. sometimes you have to play them a hundred times before they sound good. You know, uh, what what song that you you've done is like really evolved that you know back then. If you listen to, yeah, when I... it initially cut it, you're like. Yeah. yeah, well, that could be one of them, uh, but I think uh, that second song I played, that New Orleans Pope, right. uh, when I first wrote that, I was just really new into this and nervous and just really couldn't play that well. Uh, now I think I can just play it with my eyes closed, which right, a lot right. of times I do. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we we got to get you, uh, you know, my friend uh, John Stewart does the booking down at uh, Sono Caffeine, great singer-songwriter venue. Great. Okay. And uh, we got to get you. I could come br- down there. I could bring a group of us down. We'll just have one guitar and four people passing around. It would be a blast. Yeah, he he would, you know, caffeinecoffee.com. But we've, sure. we've seen some great places over there, and they got great 
you know, great vibe down there. Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, maybe next time I'm in town. Yeah. All right. So uh, w- what's planned for tonight? We know uh-huh. Dan, uh, Dan Labor calling in. Yeah, Danny, man. Hopefully I'll hook up with them and uh, play some guitar with them. We'll we make a, a treat. A final uh, opening to the phone lines here. Patch Cummings will take a uh, couple more calls. 254-4111. That's 254-4111. Right. Yeah. Looking to hear from some folks? Yes, a $150 do- donation gets you the Ken Burns baseball CDs. <laughs> DVDs. <laughs> Strike that one from the record. Yeah, it's not true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you like doing radio things, right? Going in just playing. Yeah, yeah I uh-huh. did this. I did when you guys when you had tri- triple threat in here. That was real fun. Oh yeah, yeah. that was in the back studio. And that yeah. was that was a hectic day. Yeah, that was. You had two bands here. I mean, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. I haven't. I don't think I've done that since two bands back to back. Right, right. Kinda, that's a, that's one on the live show and then record during the week. And, right, right. Yeah. What well, What have you bought in your CD collection? Uh, more recently, yeah. Uh, well, the I, I bought the Wilco one, which is what the. Uh, well, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Whiskey Fox Fox Trot or something like that. Right. Yeah, I totally drawn a blank on the name. Uh, other than that, uh, not really. You know, I, I haven't really gone out and bought any new stuff. See, no. I mean, uh, uh, I did the warehouse music out there in California. All of them went out of business, so all their CDs, oh, really? yeah, yeah, were like five bucks, and I went and restocked all my Dylan songs, you know, even the bootleg series and stuff. Right. So that's pretty much what I just the regular old stuff. Do you have you drawn any inspiration from Grandpa Cummings and his piano playing? Yes, yeah. and his accordion playing was a big influence. On yeah, I mean, he he was a big Irish guy, but yeah, you know, he had the great Irish songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a big burly Irishman. Yeah, yeah. Who who else are some of your local inspirations uh, from some of the older musicans? Well, that goes back to uh, the you have to go to Sigwin Drive for that one. Right. I mean, yeah. that was all uh, Italian music and stuff like that. That's a real big influence. Yeah, yeah. But mainly, I just like to re- reflect on the days of playing wiffle ball in the yard and stuff. Yeah, you know Joe Murphy and uh, Joe Murphy. Yeah, there isn't them in your Yeah, no Billis and Joe. Joe from Fairfield. Joe from Fairfield, right? Yeah. yeah. All the all the, all the gang. Yeah. Right. Vincenzo Cito. <laughs> How's he doing? I don't I don't haven't seen him. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, thanks for having me down. Sally, bring in the water, will ya? <laughs> hey, thanks, Patch. Alrighty. And